I pretended I was a teacher from a very early age. And I think I was probably motivated by my mom because she was a first grade teacher and I spent a lot of time in her classroom. I, my brother and I are both teachers, so I think there was a lot of um, inspiration for my mom. We chose Zionsville first as parents. Um, I did a lot of investigation where we wanted to raise our kids. And then, kind of a funny story, uh, we just moved here and I drove by the high school. And I don't know what it was, but I drove by the high school and I said to myself, someday I'm gonna work there. And a couple months later, a job came up and I applied for it. And it's been my dream job. There's so much about Zionsville that um, just lures you in. It's a family, it's always been a family. Um, the kids, when people ask me about my kids, I have to stop them and ask if they mean my biological kids or my kids at school. And that's just always been the way it is from the very first time I came into the classroom. It was the kids that made me feel like I belonged. Um, the teachers, uh, the colleagues, everything about Zionsville has been warm and welcoming. I mean, I go to work, I say work, but it isn't work. It's something every day I look forward to and every day is different. It's honestly a calling. Don't be afraid to love. Um, you're, you're going to love all those kids and then you do, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. You have to let them go every year and that's the hardest part, I think, for a new kid going into school because um, every year it's a goodbye and so those first couple years you start to realize all the goodbyes you have to um, do, but that's okay. And sometimes you never find out how it turns out. You just have to trust that um, they'll be okay. The letting go is hard. So know that's gonna be hard, but that's part of your job.